Welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. We are continuing our Derp Coronavirus specials with the KV-2, the Tier 6 Soviet Heavy Tank. He's located on the south spawn of Tundra in this game, and it's under the command of Michelle 99999. I suppose that's 99999. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry, couldn't help that joke. Okay. Well, it's the KB-2. It's got a 152mm howitzer mounted in top, inside a, a rather sturdy, rather big turret on top of a KB-1 hull. It became the KB-2 and it was built for the winter war with Poland to knock down the bunkers that the... Po the Poland? What am I saying? Poland. Finland. Uh, to knock down the bunkers that the Finns put up along the Mannerheim line. I'm always getting as bad as jingles for getting my mistakes. That wasn't intentional. I know a lot of jingles ones. <laughs> he only does it to get you to write in and put it something in the comments. Well, as you can see, this is the coronavirus KB2, specially made by Sir Rusty. He'll make any skin that you want. Uh, or his daughter Jazz will at skin downloads. And he's very good at it. As you can see from this KB2. <laughs> oh, first kill. So the VK3001 is no more. But there are a number of targets up there. The one drawback with the KV-2, of course, is the reload time. It is rather long, 20.25 seconds. You can get it down to as low as about 18, 19. He's auto-aimed on there, actually. Or is he, no, manually aiming. That's better. There's another VK-3001H, and he's probably seen what he did with the last one, but I think he wants that Super Hellcat, and he's got him. So, two shots, two kills. Do you think he can make it three? Now, we've made this... Um, Derp Coronavirus special to uh, keep you all amused and uh, we all want you to uh, stay safe and stay home and Derp Coronavirus <laughs> well there goes the 3001H so that's the second one he's taken and the Peter managed to get a shot into it for 264 so I think that's the 90mm gun Okay, there's a firefly around there as well. I think the Peter's got to go though. I think he's outstayed his welcome. Uh, oh, that T67 can go first. Yep, and that's a one shot. Say so the Peter's already gone. We're two tanks up on the enemy. And I think it's about time for the Firefly to go. Yep, he's got tunnel vision. And, oh, he's managed to cliff dive and dies. Yep, big mistake. Not a very smart move. You might as well fight the enemy, if, even if the enemy's, so uh, even if you're outgunned, just fight the enemy. Try and ram them and shoot them and... Anything you can. RT players don't suicide anymore. They fight to the end. I've done it countless times. Okay, 40 TP habitual dies. 670 hit points. But we did take a round from an Excalibur. 149 hit points lost there, but he bounced the other couple of rounds. Looks like he hit us in the machine gun, the bow gunner. Yeah, the radio operator's gone down. Okay, we're joining the M10 RBFM and we're looking for a target. There is an M10 down there. He didn't get a hit that time. But he's got five kills, so if he gets one more, he gets the top gun. There's still seven, is it seven? There's six enemies out there at the moment. And he's got a shot on a KV-3 at distance. Can he get it through the arches? Nope, didn't appear to this time.
Now, being in the KV-2 can actually be quite hazardous to you because uh, if you're um, in a battle and there happens to be RT, yes, they will focus on the KV-2 because it makes a nice juicy target. Now, over there, we've got an M10 RBFM. Can I get a shot on him? Not at the moment. He needs to change position, I think. He's searching for it, but... I'm wondering if he's got a bit of tunnel vision here now. On He's looking around to see what else is there. He's holding his gun on the direction of the M10, but the M10's gone to cover, probably because of that IKV. So it might be a good idea to actually consider the other ones. IKV's pulled back, so the M10 might come out. Ooh. Don't go over the edge. Okay. KB3 is hiding at the moment. We just lost the Thunderbolt, so the scores are even. The Excalibur's down there somewhere, but we've lost sight of him. T1 Heavy's coming around from the other side. Now, the Achilles could find the Excalibur very shortly. There he is! We need this. There he is. Yes! That's the top gun. And the one shot kill. Well, looks like the enemy heavies are headed towards our cap. And of course, one of those enemy heavies is a KV-2. Oh, the KV-2 has just been seen. He's actually down there near the river. So I think he's popping up to return to his own cap. And somebody's in the cap, and that has to be the KV... No, the T-1 Heavy. Must be the T-1 Heavy. Now, we can get down by this route... Just take it nice and gently. That's good. Excellent dismount. He's more than likely going to be hiding on the other side of that rock. Now some people might drive straight towards the rock, but the best thing to do would be to actually drive at an acute angle a way to try and catch him unawares so he hasn't got the proximity spot on us and therefore he won't be aware that we're coming there he is he's gonna spot us any second six cents has gone off so he knows we're here is he gonna move nope he's now wreck so that's seven kills one short of getting a radlis and still two enemy tanks out there Now, the IKV was saying full back, but I'm wondering about this. I'm wondering... In fact, actually, Michelle99999 is actually saying, you know, seven kills. He's on for a Radley's. He wants to get the enemy. There's the KV-3. Now, he was seen, but he fired through the bushes. Of course, the worry is if the KV-2... Oh, the KV-2 is on fire! I think the IKV just set the KV-2 on fire. And he's very low on hit points. In fact, the M10 RBFM just managed to uh, get killed by Alf. Oh, and there goes the KV-3. And that's a Radley's and wins the game. It was rather confusing towards the end there. I think our M10 got wiped out, but the um, the KV-2 managed to uh, die as well. And that meant that the KV-3 was the last target. And Michelle99999 managed to get the kill. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tanker for Michelle99999. <laughs>
<laughs> in the KV2. He managed to get a bruise the middle for getting at least five critical hits in this one. He got 20. He got an arsonist for setting light to somebody. I think that was the KV3. He actually set a light at the end. A duelist for taking down two tanks who damaged him and a fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points for his vehicle. On top of that, he got an epic medal. He got a Radley Waters medal for killing at least eight enemy tanks. And that last kill was the eighth one. He got a high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game. And a top gun for getting at least six kills. Let's have a look at team scores. There you go. Highest damage, 4,843 hit points of damage. Next highest score was the KV-2 on the enemy team with 3,022. But it looks like he was set light to by the M10 who put the shell right in the right spot to uh, light him up. The next high score after that was the A44 on our team with 2,042 hit points. When it came to kills, it was Michelle again with 8 kills. 4 kills went to the KV-2 on the enemy team, shows how good a tank it is. And 2 kills to the KV-3, the M18 Hellcat, the Excalibur, the BDR G1, the Achilles on his own team and the M10 RBFM. And when it came to base XP... It was Michel with 1,836. He's got the top in all three columns. 785. Oh, actually, no, it's 840 to the KV-2 on the enemy team before it's any other member of our team. And 785 for the M10 RBFM. He fired 12 rounds, got 8 direct hits and 7 penetrations to a 2 splash. Damage of 4,843 hit points, of which 700 were at more than 300 metres. He received 5 hits from the enemy. Three of them were penetrations, two non-penetrations, and 300 of hit points stat blocked by armour. He spotted two enemy vehicles, damaged eight of the enemy, killed eight of the enemy, and did 180 hit points of damage assistance. And he got 62 defence points. If he'd left it a second or two later and gone at that oblique angle, as I suggested, he would have got even more defence points, which possibly would have resulted in a defender medal. On a free-to-play account, he earned 48,680 credits and he got 10,000 credits from personal missions payout and after repair and ammunition resupply and he didn't use consumables, which meant he actually made a profit of 46,378 credits. He received 1,836 base XP times two for the first victory and took away 3,672 experience points altogether. And I think he was quite happy with that result. Um, he says eight shots, eight kills. I think you did shoot a bit more than eight shots, but um, you certainly did very well with those shots as well. He fired 12 shots, but um, eight kills. Yes, yeah, so seven, um, eight, eight direct hits and eight kills. Yes. So, um, yes, yeah, a very good result there for Michelle. Nine, 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 nine. <laughs> yes, it's an old joke, but it's worth it. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. And um, do look at the skin down below. Um, it's in the notes, so you can put that skin on your own KV2. And thanks to Sir Rusty for supplying it. And let's stay home, stay safe, and derp coronavirus.